How about Sergei Ovechkin, the son of the great eight, playing in the Ovechkin Cup and feeding Pops for an assist? Watch him handle it. Rupper, this is awesome. What a thrill for Ovi to be on the ice and watch his son playing and he we've can been, really skate. We've been seeing little Sergey for quite some time now. Last year, All-Star game, kind of bouncing around Look with at him. them and got on the, on the ice. So great. Absolute stars, too. So I love seeing this stuff. And I love, uh, you know, just seeing the two eights on the ice, the great yes. eights at the same time. That's fantastic. Now, the Ovechkin Cup is a more than just a one-day experience. It's so fun to watch. As you pointed out, we've seen them before. But for Ovi, in this offseason, as we think about the Washington Capitals, there's a lot to unpack there coming off of the season they had last year. Here's Alex Ovechkin on Spencer Carberry, his new head coach. Quote, we already knew him. We have a great relationship. I was happy with this hiring because he knows me, and he knows many of the guys on our team who had previously played in Hershey. I don't think we should expect any problems. Ovi continued, the coaching staff has changed by 90%. Our power play will be different. Perhaps the penalty kill and the system as a whole, too. First month of training camp will be very important in that regard. Well said by Ovi. And as you think about these Washington Capitals, other than health, what else do they need to have a really big bounce back from what was very disappointing to miss the playoffs for the first time in a long time? Yeah, I think they needed to, and, and they have addressed that, that, just like a lot of teams, they need to get a little bit more spunky and, and youthful, right? And, and I, saw, I think we saw that in some of the contract extensions and, and signings that Brian McClellan has made and some of the moves they made. But uh, this is a team that's still just like Pittsburgh, and we, we've named some others, that is trying to keep the window open and uh, keep this group and the core guys of this group uh, available to, to win. And, um, you know, right here, Max Pacioretty, Joel Edmondson aren't, aren't the, the youngest players here, but they, they, they signed some long-term and will get more opportunity within the organization already. But I'm excited to see um, how this group does, because I think they did a great job of evaluating that they weren't there last year, and they made some moves to set themselves up to keep this window open. And these are some of those moves. They got younger with Rasmus Sandin. Um, the extensions there with Stroh, Milano, um, you know, I, I think that, the, that that's huge. They're, they're starting to really locate who some of their players are there. And um, I, I think that this is a team that will bounce back. I think you're going to be in contention for the playoffs this year. And it's because they really saw where they were at last year and, 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 it, and it kind of addressed it instead of just trying to um, throw everything towards the playoffs and, and kind of just keep you know, dwindling down and, as your team gets older. And if you think that Ovechkin and this organization, as much of a focus as it is to chase down Gretzky, which it sure looks like he's going to be able to do that, that's not what this organization's about, especially going back those several years to when they won the Stanley Cup. The health issue is something that is so significant. I've heard you say this before. Once they lost John Carlson, boy, did things yeah. really get to be a struggle. Yeah, I mean, John Carlson was that, he's that anchor on that back end. And, and we knew for a big chunk of last year how they, you know, they had Dmitry Orlov. They had they had some other guys there. They had some good defensemen, but John Carlson was was the main factor. And uh, T.J. Oshie, Nick Backstrom, Tom Wilson. Those are that, huge that's names. significant. Huge. Yeah, like that's the core of this team outside of Ovi and, and Kuzi and, and all that. So um, having those guys back and having some health in there. Um, but I also think, just like I said before, is empowering some of these other ones. I mean, I think Dylan strom has been very good for this team, and he got rewarded. Um, so it's about kind of those guys taking that next step as well. So uh, this Caps team, I think they did. They will be better this next year. Um, it's assuming that the health will be there, which which I would expect it to be. When you say spunky, immediately what comes to mind are younger players. The players that we've highlighted that had the health issues last year are not the younger guys. Is the window still open for this group to do what they want to do, which is make a run at the cup, which they did in 2018 when they won it all. It's so funny now because I think that I'm starting to become a believer of just you got to get in the playoffs. And I was never that one. I've always been one to think, well, there's it's not about just getting in and going on a run like you've got to have the pedigree. But I think we're starting to see just if you can position yourself to be a contender to get into the playoffs for a good portion of the season, then it gets really interesting of what happens from there on, whether it's the, the coach and the players upping the ante down the stretch or the GM before the trade deadline, making a couple tweaks and adding some depth pieces. Um, I, I, they're not a team that I would say is going to contend for a Stanley Cup. 
Uh, but they should be a playoff team. With that being said, who knows how this shakes out because they can go out there and they can add a piece here or there, but you've got to do your job as a player. I think that's the most important thing. As a player, let's do our job to show management that this is a team worth taking chances for. Yes. And when you can do that as a, as a player and as a group, now you've got uh, you know the backing of the, the organization to try to get you over the hump. And that, yes, they can get into the playoffs and uh, they can go on a bit of a run.